Okay, here's a perfect example of what you might find when you get out and explore with John. Uh, just driving down Route 302 here in New Hampshire and came across the uh, covered bridge house. Uh, it's a bed and breakfast, but they've repurposed the bridge. So let's go take a look. This is pretty neat, guys. So like I said, the bridge is located on uh, Route 302, about four miles uh, east of Bartlett, New Hampshire, and it spans over the Saco River. Check this thing out. What an awesome way to repurpose an old covered bridge. Turned it into a gift shop. I have never seen anything like this before, but let's go check it out. I know nothing about this covered bridge. I'll try to get some information for you, but I thought this was so cool, I just had to stop and take a look around, so. I have to say that this covered bridge has a quintessential New England charm. And uh, yeah, this is truly unique uh, with a gift shop located inside of the bridge. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very good, thank you. Well, it looks like the uh, gift shop itself has quite a wide uh, variety of items, including candles, pillows, wall art, plush animals, t-shirts, uh, flags, and other kinds of souvenirs. Well, I can tell you, I just spoke with the lady who was uh, at the cash register here at the little shop, and she says, that this bridge was built in the 1850s and it was in operation until the 1930s until Route uh, 302, which was right over here, was, was constructed and then they bypassed the bridge, uh, the covered bridge here. And then the property itself uh, was built or, or was bought by the people who owned the bed and breakfast next door in the 1960s and that's when they turned it into the uh, gift shop here so pretty cool little setup here it's very unique and uh, what an awesome way to uh, repurpose the uh, covered old covered bridge just look at the size of that burr arch that thing is enormous and i love the way they have the uh, sides open up and you can see out of both sides of the bridge here uh, what an awesome old structure. This all looks original here. And here's the uh, view looking up the river. This uh, bridge can be found in, uh, I think it's Bar Barlett, New Hampshire. So if you're ever driving on Route 302, you will come across this. It's worth checking out. This is awesome. Let's see if I can uh, take a quick look at outside of the bridge here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get down below to take a look at the structure down there but wow very cool another thing I learned about uh, covered bridges most of them were painted red originally because way back in the day uh, the people who were maintaining them had uh, a lot of uh, iron that had rusted and they would mix the rust as the pigmentation in the paint to uh, help preserve the bridges. So that's why the majority of covered bridges that you see are old ones that have not been restored um, are red in color. So that's pretty cool. Let's go down here. I think I can make it down underneath and check out the structure down below. So a little bit more information about the bridge itself. Uh, like I said, it was uh, closed to traffic in 1939 but then was used by the state of New Hampshire to store snow fences until the 1950s. In 1966, the bridge and the land surrounding it was sold to the owner of the bed and breakfast, uh, Mrs. Isabel Caselli, who lived at the uh, residence. She's the one who put the uh, 12 by 80 gift shop inside of the bridge. In 1990, the owners of the bridge at that time, the Friedmans, uh, decided to renovate the bridge. Uh, the renovations consisted of uh, strengthening the arches, replacing cracked members, and removing one layer of the decking, which resulted in the dead weight of the bridge being decreased by 25 tons. 
the cost of that renovation was $38,000. Uh, this is the new bridge here, Route 302, that uh, created the bypass around the bridge and made it obsolete in the uh, 1960s. The bridge itself is 166 feet long with a clear span of 145 feet. The overall width is 20 feet 4 inches and the roadway width is 16 feet 6 inches with a maximum vertical clearance of 14 feet 6 inches. This is one of 50 remaining covered bridges in the state of New Hampshire. All right, well, that's going to do it here on this little short episode of Get Out and Explore with John. But what a cool little uh, piece of history that I found here that's been repurposed and uh, made useful again. Uh, the uh, Covered Bridge gift shop here in Barlett, New, New Hampshire. And like I say, you never know what you're going to see when you get out and explore with John. <laughs>